Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here and I hope you guys had a great weekend. Today I want to talk to you about an exciting new development uh, from the lab of Feng Zhang and it has to do with CRISPR delivery systems. Uh, it could have a positive impact on Beam, Prime and uh, Orbital as well as other companies developing uh, gene therapies because uh, delivery system has always been a problem for CRISPR and um, also you'll re remember that Feng Zhang has been the promoter of uh, Beam, Prime and Orbital and uh, he's most likely to promote one more company with this new delivery system, which is baked on, based on some bacterial syringe. Uh, I'll talk more about this. Let's get started. Welcome back, friends. We know that there is a problem with the delivery systems for CRISPR-Cas9 and various methods like LNP have been tried before. Feng Zhang explained that his lab started researching uh, what he called as syringe systems, bacterial syringe systems, about three to four years ago, even before the pandemic. The aim was to find new ways of delivering gene editors such as CRISPR-Cas9 as therapies. It so happens that some soil bacteria have developed small injection systems that can puncture uh, insect cells and release toxins, killing the insects within a few days. Scientists are interested in using this system to deliver medicines to humans. In a recent study uh, published in the journal Nature, uh, researchers from the lab of Feng Zhang, a CRISPR uh, researcher at MIT, uh, engineered these uh, bacterial syringes to deliver potential therapies such as toxins that can kill cancer cells or gene editors which can uh, edit the genes. They used an AI program to develop syringes that can load specific proteins and target human cells. In the study, the researchers began by modifying a harmless strain of E. coli bacteria to produce the same syringes as the bug-killing soil bacteria, which they could then isolate and purify. Uh, they then demonstrated that these syringes could be loaded with proteins not typically found in them. After this, the researchers attempted to modify the syringes to target human cells, but encountered several failed attempts. However, their efforts were successful after a new version of an AI program called AlphaFold, uh, that can uh, predict a protein structure based on its sequence was released. Uh, and using that AI software, uh, uh, using a uh, predicted version of the structure, they identified the specific location in the syringe uh, that was uh, responsible for binding and targeting and were able to engineer it accordingly. The programmable syringes developed by the researchers were then used in a series of experiments. They were able to target cancer cells and deliver gene editing proteins, including Cas9, to human cells. Initially, the cells already contained guide RNA, which is necessary for targeting gene editors. The researchers then used syringes to deliver a different type of gene editor, which was uh, used even before CRISPR-Cas9. It's called as zinc fingers, uh, which do not require uh, guide RNA. Finally, the researchers demonstrated that they could deliver the syringes to the brains of uh, live mice, indicating that their system could potentially be used to deliver therapies in vivo. While the system shows promising results, it is still in its early stages and further testing is necessary to address potential immune responses. It's worth noting that the syringe system is not the only delivery mechanism that Zhang's lab is exploring. Earlier this year, Zhang also introduced a, a ERA Therapeutics, A-E-R-A, uh, which is developing a virus-like delivery method intended for use in delivering therapies to various organs, including the brain, kidney, lung, and heart. Zeng has been a serial uh, launcher of companies. It's quite possible that we may have a separate company soon for this as a new venture. Also, the intriguing question for many investors like us would be whether Beam, Prime, and Orbital can uh, get the benefit of this technology if it succeeds and how it can boost their prospects, assuming the immune response uh, issue is handled. Um, another tantalizing prospect is for HIV uh, therapies, uh, which use uh, uh, gene therapy, uh, because uh, HIV does form uh, dormant um, uh, pools in the brain. Uh, and uh, if a therapy can be delivered to the brain where it can excise the HIV virus, then uh, potentially that's another avenue to uh, explore. So it's a very exciting frontier that we are looking at. And um, uh, I hope uh, this succeeds. And also I can visualize that um, many of the therapies which have been developed right now and which have been approved by FDA 
uh, would they be uh, made even more superior by using this technology? Will it reduce the cost of uh, delivery, the cost of implementation? Uh, so those are all very interesting questions. And uh, in the next year or so, I think we will find answers to those questions. So stay tuned uh, for Feng Zhang's laboratory to come back and uh, give us uh, maybe a news about a new company or success of this uh, delivery system. I hope you guys liked this video. Please press the like button if you did. And in case you are not yet a subscriber, please subscribe. I'm saying that specifically because 55% of our viewers have not subscribed to the channel. If you are one of them, please subscribe and help me grow this channel. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.